Um, hello, I'm Suzanne. With me here, I have three of my awesome colleagues from Viv Higher Education, and we have been experimenting with video a lot recently, um, whether it be by doing competitive benchmarking, video strategy for our clients, um, helping our clients directly script and produce videos, making videos to capture an end of project report that then can be shared with a lot of different stakeholders at the university, or even just trying to connect with um, other higher ed folks on LinkedIn and Twitter. So we've been having a lot of fun with it. And we thought today we would make a video that um, covers our favorite topic, um, which is creativity and how we ensure that our agency keeps keeps creativity front and center at all times. And um, to, for that purpose, we sort of have three pillars that we think about. Um, one is hiring curious people. That one is all about people, obviously. Two is uh, discovery, um, which is all about process. And three is psychological safety. And that one is all about culture. And everybody has kind of prepared some notes and wants to share them. Um, Coleman, first up um, for you as our creative director, why is it so important that we hire curious people? Well, um, thank you, Suzanne. I think it's, it's really important because uh, truthfully, so we need to have creative people in our work. Uh, we're, that's, we're, we're an agency that does a lot of creative work. What people don't often realize is how much creativity is tied together with curiosity. Uh, people act like creativity is, is some magical alchemy thing, um, and, and it's, it's not really. Um, you really get creativity anytime. You have bright, curious people trying to solve new problems. That's, that is, ends up with creative results. And um, the thing I've learned is that people do vary a lot in their ability to be curious and, and, and harness tap into that. Um, and uh, in marketing, you really need to grow of empathy for audiences. And, and that's, you get that through being through a curiosity and then you're able to be uh, creative in that field. And sure, we hire curious people and, and uh, so that we can set them up for creative success. And, but also in setting them up, we also have put a lot of processes in place that help make sure that our processes are uh, start with everybody being as coming to the table as curious as possible and then resulting that creative part. Great person to talk about that, that is Emily, who uh, is a person we hired who is uh, very curious and creative, but also um, is somebody who loves processes and, and developing templating. And so Emily, take it yeah. away. Thanks, Coleman. Um, it might sound kind of counterintuitive to have a process or a template when it comes to creativity, but at FIV, we know we are enrollment marketers and we pride ourselves on bringing that expertise to all of our clients. But we also know that each of our clients are the expert when it comes to the nuances of their institution. We never wanna presume that we know everything um, when we're just starting out with a project. So we try to go into this with a beginner, beginner's mindset. We call this our discovery phase. So we do discovery in two ways. First, we are asking the client and each other as many questions as possible or as necessary to really get a good idea of what we can do going into this project. So we wanna understand the client's goals, the audiences that they're familiar with or that they might wanna reach, roadblocks that they might be hitting, or certain competitors that they're familiar with and the tactics that they use. We also practice discovery internally. So we ask each other on the Viv team how we've tackled similar issues in the past or what approaches that we think might be relevant to this client's services. So once we establish a client's needs and the potential strategies and tactics that we might use to address them, we then move to looking for inspiration. We explore both how businesses and higher education entities have developed messaging and content around a parallel topic or issue. This allows us to really think outside of that traditional higher ed box and form a cohesive vision for what we want that finished project to be. Once we have a comprehensive understanding of a client's goals and needs, we're then able to move on to ideation. So Audra, can you tell us a little bit about about how we prioritize psychological safety when we're sharing these ideas? Totally. So psychological safety for our team um, is all about creating a super collaborative environment where team members feel really empowered and excited to share their ideas, even if an idea isn't perfect or they haven't fully thought it through just yet. Um, and this is really important because 
Recently, um, we saw some data from MIT Sloan Management Review that shows that toxic workplace culture is 10 times more predictive of turnover at an organization than low compensation. Um, and the reason for that is that it's really hard to compartmentalize something in your life if every day the people you work with um, don't care about you or they don't listen to you or even worse they actively try to diminish who you are or how you are trying to contribute to your specific team and so um, our internal team culture is centered around empathy and working to create belonging and we absolutely think that this makes a difference in how um, we show up for our clients and the results that we are able to achieve on their behalf. Um, and so to create belonging on our team, we try to make time for everyone to connect um, through happy hours and team meetings and where possible um, in-person team events. Um, and we are a remote team, so we have to think really creatively about how to foster connection um, amongst our employees and also create space for us to learn about each other. But another critical piece of this is um, the opportunity for our team members to step away from their work to recharge so that they can show up um, as their best selves for their colleagues um, and also for our clients. And so our overall goal at Viv Higher Ed is to create a team culture that consistently reinforces the idea that we can't accomplish alone the things we can accomplish together and that if we're going to accomplish um, those goals, we have to show a high level of respect for each other and also challenge each other each day that we show up at work. Yeah, so thank you for indulging us in uh, our experimentations with video. It wasn't the most highly produced piece, but hopefully it gave you an idea of our team and how we think about creativity. Now, if you and your higher education marketing or enrollment team um, feel like you're in need of more creativity in your, in your work and in your lives, um, we would love to learn about your goals um, and how we might be able to help you reach them. Um, feel free to reach out to us at any time and thanks for watching. Bye.